Hello and welcome. In this video, I want to show you the transformation that I did when I optimized Rachel Freeman Sowers LinkedIn profile. So first, we're going to jump back here. The screen you see right now is the before. So as you can see, uh, the before, one issue was her LinkedIn better image was definitely not working for her. Now you can tell a lot of effort went into curating these images, taking these shots, uh, the branding, the vibe, everything like that. However, um, we you can't really read these um, on mobile or desktop, and if you can, you're probably squinting your eyes. And two, uh, if you look to the left or the right here, there's a lot of white space. So the the banner image was really not optimized at all. And then next, if you check out her professional headline, which is this section here, it says, helping female online entrepreneurs show up confident on video to connect with their true fans and create more cash in their business. Now I said earlier, that's a good, that's a good professional headline. You know, she's calling out her target audience. Uh, she says the type of work she does. And she also puts a word like cash there, which of course uh, is very mo motivating to almost everyone, right? So let's look at the transformation. Jumping on over here, I'll zoom in uh, just a little bit more. There we go, it looks about as good as we'll get. So as you can see now, we did a different take on her banner image. Uh, we spread it out, we looked at working within the triangles, and then what we're specifically doing is we're calling out her tribe, who she wants to speak to, who she wants to impact, who she wants to work with her. Her tribe is being called out instantly in her banner image, which is really, really um, strategic and a really smart move because in a moment, in a moment's notice, they land here and go, oh, here's who she works with. Now, does she exclusively work with LGBT and female communities? Well, probably not, but the, that would be her focus. Then we also have be 100% you 100% of the time, which is her tagline. And then finally, what we did is, Rachel has a phenomenal podcast and YouTube show called Road to Radical Visibility. And we intentionally put this here because that's kind of, if you imagine a filter from how people get exposed to Rachel's, com her, exposed to her comments, uh, her expertise, everything like that, the filter, of course, um, at the top end of the funnel would be the show. So that's one of the main entry points for everyone before they get onto a discovery call, before they hire her in some capacity or join one of her programs. So we're highlighting that because we really want it to stick out. And then of course you see two shots here that show personality. Rachel has a lot of personality. There's no way we can fit it into a LinkedIn banner image. Um, but we wanted to definitely showcase her personality. Next, with her professional headline, which is highlighted in blue here, it transformed what I read earlier to this now, which is sought after visibility coach, podcast creator and host, and LMFT, guiding LGBTQ plus and female individuals to be 100% you, 100% of the time, no shame or guilt needed. Now this, um, is a huge transformation from where it was. Also, what's important here is we really wanted to put sought after visibility coach and talk about the podcast um, right up front with the characters, the space we have available in a professional headline. Now, this is intentional because every time that Rachel, Rachel posts into the LinkedIn newsfeed, um, people are going to see her name, her image and then her professional headline, but they will not see her entire professional headline. So a smart strategy that I really like to employ is what is something right off the bat that we want them to see? Or what do we want in front of them instantly? Because LinkedIn is one of the, one of the few networks that will actually put your posts in front of people you're not connected with. So Facebook, uh, business page, they have to be connected, they have to be following your page, and then they might see your posts. Of course, we know organic reach on Facebook pages is abysmal. Um, but LinkedIn rather says this, this is what happens. Rachel releases a post, 
and LinkedIn says, okay, we're going to show it to her first connections, people that are connected with her. But we're also going to show it to another layer of people. So generally, these are people that Rachel's can, they know someone in common is the easiest way. It's called a second connection, right? So LinkedIn will put your post in front of different people that you're not directly connected with. So it's a great advantage to you uh, for you to lead off in your professional headline with something that you really want to grab their attention, uh, that you want them to know, this is who I am, this is what I do. And you're doing that all in, you know, in the little character space that you have available there. Let's move on down. Oh, actually, before we move down, if, if your banner image and your professional headline, along with your profile image, if that does not intrigue them, engage them, interest the person who has landed on your LinkedIn profile, they are out, they're gone, they're leaving, right? So you really wanna make sure that these three elements work together cohesively, that they communicate clearly to your ideal clients. Now, once they, that those three elements have kind of passed their decision filter, right? Because they're thinking, is this worth reading or not? Or is rather, it's better to say, is the rest of this profile worth reading or not? So if, you, if you've engaged them on these three elements already, they're going to scroll down and they're going to keep reading, which is exactly what we want. Next, I want to highlight this, talks about. Uh, generally, this is found under resources uh, if you want to edit yours. And this is something that will help you come up in search also. There's a, ver there's a wide variety of things that help you come up in search. It's really smart for you to fill this out though. So with Rachel's, we said talks about, and we said her primary communities, LGBT. Uh, we put video marketing there, coaching business, and entrepreneurship. So once again, these help Rachel come up in video even more. And let's see, we're at about eight minutes. Let's move on down. So we talked about the learn more here. This is something you want to use. Turn on creator mode. I've talked about this a lot. Turn on creator mode and put your link there. So finally, LinkedIn is more click friendly and you can put, you can put my website, you can put the text as learn more here, um, anything like that, but it's a clickable link on, tech, on desktop and mobile. And I tell you, my friends, it is just brilliant to have that there if you want to drive some more traffic to your website and get people to your main calls to action. Okay, let's move on down to the about. This was actually what the video was, was about. So in Rachel's about, let me just show you kind of the before. Oh, actually, I can't show you the before because she didn't have an about. What was that all about anyway, Rachel? So your about is kind of like your main piece of content where you highlight your expertise, you, you highlight the um, transformation you're bringing to the table. It, you cannot count this out. Uh, it is exceptionally critical that you really dial this in to be authentic, to be optimized, to come up in search, and to really hit on all the cylinders, there's quite a list of things I'm thinking through as I'm optimizing profiles from art to science, you know, technical to the flow, all those types of pieces. I want to just break this down in a short, quick way. First, Rachel introduces herself. She talks about how she's, guide, she's passionate um, about guiding people in the LGBT plus communities and female communities to, to what? effectively, rapidly, and powerfully break through barriers that stop them from experiencing their lives and businesses exactly the way we, they want to. Now, there's a lot more details underneath this that we won't get into. We talk about uh, discover how to create radical visibility to yourself and then others, um, being yourself completely in your own life and showing up as that person online. Hashtag easier said than done. We also talk about this part. I'm grateful to say that I've guided hundreds of people in freeing themselves from all the stuff, social constructs, expectations, BS beliefs, you know, you should do this, you should do that, you should speak this way, you should be that way, all that stuff. So she guides them in breaking off, breaking out of those barriers, right? 
and we're intentionally using, using I've guided hundreds of people because we're seeding that Rachel has incredible credibility here. Next, through our work together, great phrase to use, clients become empowered like never before to um, have a newfound freedom. And then we highlight that. Now notice we're using bullet points, we're using emojis. We're using bullet points because it's reader friendly and it's eye friendly. If you put something that's super important in the middle of a paragraph, guess what? Uh, it's probably gonna get skipped over. It's going to be ignored. People are conditioned today to be scanners and skinner, skimmers, so we definitely want to bring things out through bullet points uh, to some extent. Moving on down with 20 plus years experience in this work, another time where we're embedding credibility. Um, guiding clients and changing the changing the trajectory trajectory of their lives to create freedom um, several great things and we're really using rachel's personality how she talks and all that and then underneath here we're also putting some key phrases and terms uh, or other words linkedin seo so rachel comes up in search so she can be found when people are searching for a service like hers then we have a very clear call to action Click the learn more here link above. So we literally, here's what the link, here's how the link reads and it's above and you can click it. And as you saw earlier, when people do that, they can get quickly to Rachel's discovery call, her podcast show, um, her YouTube show, and then all her juicy links, they can get to those as well. Then we did another credibility piece you know, this is what I'm bringing to the table to unleash your radical visibility. And then we talk about our education, bachelor's, master's, partial PhD, multiple courses. Uh, Rachel is insanely, she's a rare combination of insanely intelligent and insanely intuitive and also wildly trained and certified in different modalities. She is bringing a lot to the table. We wanted to bring that out. Now, if you're still hanging with me here, let's roll on down. In her experience section, this one we did work. We added some key phrases to come up in search more on LinkedIn. We also used emojis, making things very friendly to read. We highlighted speaking gigs, um, different trainings that she releases. Also a very, very easy um, call to action here again. Now we also did a right now kind of paragraph and this says, I'm not currently accepting one-on-one -on -one therapeutic clients. However, we can work together through my 100% you experience. And then you can schedule a discovery call now, use this link and so on and so forth. Now we did this because sometimes there's ebbs and flows in your business. So if you're not accepting clients, uh, maybe you're not accepting cl coaching clients right now, you know, you can put these little tidbits in here, which I would call seasonal, right? So sometimes I do, I'm weighing more of, I'm pressing for more social media marketing clients, maybe in a given month. And then I'm gonna shift over in a certain month, maybe the following month, and I'm gonna put more emphasis on things like um, my, LinkedIn my LinkedIn course, or I'm gonna put more emphasis on uh, conver conversational referrals course, use email and phone to generate your own warm referrals right? It's conversation based. So sometimes, you know, you're going to be fluctuating from different things. So be sure to update your content on LinkedIn uh, as you want to, as you need to. Now, another tip I'm going to give you, we're 15 minutes in here, is your professional headlines not static. I actually have four professional headlines that I use. You know, one is kind of my um, mainstay. I use it a lot that sort of thing, but others are where would be things like, if I'm promoting my LinkedIn course in a month, that's what I'm putting. If I'm really, if I'm promoting conversational referrals course in a given month, I'll use that one. Um, sometimes I'm simply testing out new headlines to see how they feel. Do I seem to get more engagement from those? Um, and then finally, for some of you, um, if you're doing speaking gigs, podcast, if you've been featured on a, spot, a podcast, things like that. Another uh, seasonal one that I use would be um, struggling, struggling with LinkedIn. Check out my conversational leads video vault for, and then I go into details 
Um, I won't, won't put all the details there, but it's basically a hub of LinkedIn how-to trainings and how to generate clients in very simple, easy, user-friendly ways. So always think temporary with your profiles. I know that's a bit of a luxury. I know you're busy like I am. However, having those different headlines you can pull from, it just really sets the tone of this month, I'm focusing here. This month, I'm focusing there. It's the holidays, here's my focus now. Right, whenever you have a big initiative, just roll with it. Finally, let's go down here. We do have specialties. Uh, this is kind of a way to put other words that are like LinkedIn SEO, people searching for what Rachel does. We're actually going to fill this out a bit more um, probably later this week. And then skills, we put specific skills here. Um, these are also ones that we can update as well, which we probably will do. And we wanted to get started with some, so I chose those. Now, all my juicy links. This is where you can put a live link in your experience section, which I recommend. Actually, don't do it. Hire me. I'll do it for you. <laughs> so we do this. It's very important. Uh, it helps you get more clicks as well. I will tell you, it has been a pain to get this image to keep showing up. Yesterday, it's, it's there. Uh, yesterday, it was there. This morning, it was there. But for some reason on LinkedIn, I don't know if it's the browsers or what, um, it kind of doesn't show the image sometimes. So I'm trying to work that out because I uploaded it as a phenomenal image. But this, it, let's say if someone's on mobile desktop, they read your experience section and think, you know what, I really want to learn more. They click this, then they have to click view. This is not very uh, clear, so bring it out. Just put click view to go to the page now. So people, now we know when people are on, Le on Rachel's LinkedIn profile, whether they're at the top of the profile or they're scrolling down, they can easily get to her YouTube channel, um, her podcast channels, which is multiple channels, Spotify, Apple, so on and so forth. They can get to a discovery call here and they can see more like AIDS life cycle, daily vlog. It's basically anything in your link tree or link in bio uh, buttons page that many people use. Um, and the image that was used here was actually the image on that page. Um, and then from there, less important, we just simply updated some of her previous experience sections just so that they flow better. We added some skills there, things like that. Finally, her education uh, was absolutely where it should be. You know, you can always add one or two lines if you want. Um, and I have a technique that I take clients through for that. And then volunteering, any volunteering you've done, you probably would, I would recommend adding it because it showcases that you're actually living for more than just um, your own business, your own self. It's showing that you're contributing time or money or your talents in some kind of way. Be sure to add your licenses, certificate, certifications. We have that for Rachel here. Um, skills, if you know me by now, I'm not a super fan of this. Um, I'm not going to explain that here. Recommendations, you want to be adding these on a regular basis. And then finally, update your causes. Uh, this shows people what, you know, what you're giving your time, talent, your, your money to in order to make a difference uh, in the world. And then finally, interest, we won't talk about that. Uh, anything you do select here is public. Now, the final thing we did for Rachel is we updated her URL. It, before this, it was Rachel hyphen Freeman hyphen Sowers Freeman, or I'm sorry, um, Rachel Freeman. If I could speak, I think I'm getting a little bit tired. It was basically Rachel hyphen Freeman hyphen Sowers, and then followed by one eight two five eight six seven five three zero nine. All these different numbers. It was a big hot mess. If your LinkedIn profile URL looks like that, we can clean that up. And most likely we can secure the URL that you want, one that's easy for you to remember. Um, and it's basically gonna look much better than the um, word vomit of all these numbers and things in your LinkedIn profile. So with that, that is, that is Rachel's updated LinkedIn profile. Uh, we are super proud of it. And I wanna tell you the two faces of this before I wrap the video. One, this feels like Rachel. Rachel did a, a live stream about this today and she said, finally, this 
feels like me, it sounds like me, it represents me, it's talking to who I want it to talk to, right? So there's an emotional, maybe a spiritual element to all of these profiles because they're either in alignment with who you are or they're not, right? So Rachel's is now dialed in and it feels like her. And let me tell you, when you have a profile that feels like you, you're going to use it more, you're going to share it more, and you're frankly, you're going to get more traffic, right? Now let's go over to the other side of the coin. That would be optimization. So all the visuals, highly appealing. The copy we've used is very clear, easy to understand, readable. Three, we've used a lot of uh, keywords and phrases so Rachel comes up in her in LinkedIn SEO when people search for a profile who can help me with video marketing who can help me with XYZ Rachel's going to come up in those we also filled out talks about correctly we added skills to uh, the experience sections so we actually did a lot more than that but that kind of shows you there's the two faces of this coin and when those work together you're really going to get you're going to be positioned to bring in more clients, inquiries, discovery calls, get more clicks to your shows, your podcast, your um, opt-in pages, your contact me pages. And of course, this, I, um, this will produce more engagement in some way. It could be more comments. Um, it could be more direct messages. It kind of depends on you know the client and the type of industry you're in, your audience. With Rachel, um, I'm I'm sure she's going to see an influx of all of those things. They're going to grow. They're going to hit another level. So, I have talked your ear off. Um, we're now hitting at 22 minutes. If you've stayed to the end, I do want to thank you so much. Uh, as you know, my name is Eric Z Johnson. I appreciate. Uh, every one of you for listening to anything that I release. Ultimately, I want it to help you, your business, and your life. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out, and I will catch you later. Bye-bye.